Local News 8 in the morning continues. Hey, welcome back. It's now 657. Here are your three things to know this morning. Number one, three local fires are forcing people to evacuate. For the Ross Fork Fire, the evacuations are for Petite Lake Road and Cabin Creek Road and Smiley Creek, Sawtooth City, Beaver Creek and Alturas Lake. Zones 1 and 11 around Salmon are evacuating from the, from the Moose Fire with Zones 12 and 13 on standby. And for the two and a half fire near Fort Hall, people living along Ross Fork Road and Simplot Road area have been evacuated. They are being taken to the Shoshone Bannock Hotel. Number two, the Fort Hall Reservation is still under a burn ban issued by the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. There is no open burning allowed anywhere on the reservation until further notice. And the Fremont County Campfire ban has been extended to next Friday, September 16th. And number three, Taylor View Farm in Idaho Falls is inviting the community to come out and help harvest potatoes for the welfare program of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. The 4,000-acre farm helps feed over 1,500 families a month with, their, with all of their donations. We can find these stories and more on our website, localnews8.com, and be sure to download our Local News 8 app. Let's head back over to the Weather Center and check in with Jeff Rupper. Hey, two-minute warning here till 7 o'clock. you got to be somewhere. By the way, this is a Hurricane K now, a tropical depression or a tropical storm off the coast of California. It'll be the first time we've got a Pacific hurricane in a while. Just know that that's a big weather story for the western U.S. Around here, we've got fires to contend with, 40s to begin with this morning for most of us. We'll see a lot of the smoke coming in from the north because of the breezes. We get a little bit of a break, but a lot of our southern areas and of course the central mountains will be affected by this smoke and haze. It's going to be 77 today in Pocatello, so a lot cooler. You can see the haze this morning. It will be in the 40s tonight, so it stands to reason there may be some frost around tomorrow, but we're back into the 80s for the last weekend of the Eastern Idaho State Fair. It will be close to 88 by about Sunday. IF, we've got cooler conditions today, 73. You'll need a jacket, a hoodie. Bring all that with you and uh, make sure you have it tonight if you're going out to the fairgrounds or if you're just going to be out for this morning because it's chilly to start with. We're in the 40s. It's going to be about 76 tomorrow. What mispronunciation just drives you crazy? <laughs> I'm going to nip it in the butt. No, that's not it. 534-9957. Uh, <laughs> Which one drives you crazy? I'm going to take it for granted. No, that's a rock. 534-9957. There's some new words in the Merriam-Webster dictionary. Pumpkin spice has been added. You'll be Ooh. happy to know it's a real Real thing. Nice. Yeah, it's in there. Yeet. Yeet. Uh, that's outstanding. People love it. That's a happy expression. Sus is suspicious, <laughs> much like criminals. Laggy means, well, that's a lot of people we know. And then janky, that's uh, that's not good. And then adorkable is socially awkward, but yet still attractive. <laughs> All these are real words that have been added to the dictionary. All right. There you go. I think enough. dad bod recently got added as well. <laughs> it's some interesting additions. Yeah, plant-based is in there too, but I mean, you know, what kind of street cred do you give that? That's sus to me. <laughs> Yeet! <laughs> Yeet, we will see you at noon. <laughs>